Hello and welcome to Creative Marketing TV. My name is Susan Joy Schlieff. I'm your host and your trainer for today. And I am very excited to be with you today. We have a thunderstorm on the way here, and so hopefully we can get this recording done before it gets too bad. Um, but it's also very hot here, so uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's been a rough week. Anyway, today we are here to talk about ice cream graphics, which is perfect in this heat to celebrate Vanilla Ice Cream Day. So let me bring up my PowerPoint and we will get started with the demonstration. So I have just a couple slides to show you to set the mood <clears throat> and then we will dive right into demo. Again, we're going to talk about how to create flat graphics in PowerPoint to celebrate Vanilla Ice Cream Day. And this is Creative Marketing TV. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember when 31 Flavors was new, but I remember that from my childhood. And it was so exciting to see all those different flavors to choose from instead of just your basic chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. <laughs> and of course, that was years before I knew anything about gelato. Then I did get to go to Italy and saw the dozens and dozens of flavors that were available in a gelateria. So my question to think about is, in a world of 31 flavors, is there still a place for vanilla? Or is it just too boring? And it's a similar question that we can ask about flat graphics, because I think flat graphics are kind of like vanilla ice cream. So what do we mean by flat graphics? Well, here are a few examples. The, the graphic style actually takes a lot from the pop art movement about 40 or 50 years ago. But of course, flat graphics really are being driven by the mobile surge. And here are some characteristics that are an important part of flat graphic design. One is minimal details. And another is very simple shadows. Sometimes you won't see any shadow at all. These in this example here have a shadow, but they're very simple shadows. They're not gradient shadows like we would have used in a more realistic graphic design. Showing the how, whether the battery is empty or full, you can't get much simpler than that, right? They're often used for icons. And as I said, they're being driven by the increased use of mobile devices. And one of the reasons they're so important for mobile is that a very simplified graphic like this is a much smaller graphic file, so there's less problem presenting it on a smaller device. Plus, when you're looking at it on a small screen, you don't want to see a lot of detail because that's going to make it harder to tell what the graphic really is. Actually, the simpler it is, the easier it is to tell what it is, as long as you have just enough there to really indicate what the object is that you're trying to represent. So again, graphic design, we could say, is sort of the vanilla version of graphics. Just enough to let you know what it is, but it doesn't have to be complicated. So in a 31 flavors world, are there still times when vanilla is best? And are there times when flat graphics are best? Well, I propose yes is the answer to both of those. So one time when I think vanilla is best is in a root beer float. You don't want any other ice cream in a vanilla float, right? Oops, sorry. I was trying to enlarge that so you could see it better, and I got it all squished. So I designed this, and I'm going to show you how. 
Let's move it back out of the way here. And we are going to start with a shape. And then we're going to go to Format, Rotate, and we're going to flip it vertically so it looks more like a glass. Then I'm going to right click on the shape and I'm going to select No Fill. And I'm going to change the color of the outline to gray and make it a little bit thicker. So we have a very simple transparent glass. Now what I'm going to do to fill the glass is duplicate that shape and right click it again. This time I am going to fill it with a color. And I think this is what I used before. Yep, that looks like a good root beer color. I want to get rid of the outline on this one. Now we want to make it shorter because we don't want our root beer spilling over the top. But as we shrink that down, it changes the shape. So we can make it a little narrower, but it's still not going to fit quite right. So let me show you, which is something you may or may not know how to do with shapes. Once we have the shape selected, we can go over here to the Edit Shape option and then Edit Points. And you may notice that put a red outline around the shape and four tiny little square black boxes, squares in the corners. And all we need to do really is grab these bottom ones and stretch them out a little bit so that they're shaped more like the outline of our glass. And there we go. Now let's add our ice cream. I have this ball of vanilla ice cream sitting over here waiting to be used. <clears throat> it's probably a little too big, so let's shrink it down. I'm going to hold the shift key down to keep the circular dimensions. Of course, ice cream is not perfectly circular, but I think it looks best in this case if we keep it circular instead of oval. And then we'll slide it in here behind the root beer, but still sticking out of the top of the glass a little bit. And it was already in the back behind the others, so we don't need to shift anything there. All right, then I'm going to do one more thing to finish off this design. And we're going to use a rectangle to make a straw. We'll change our fill, and I'm going to fill it with a pattern which doesn't show up on that list, but once we click on this, it opens up the whole format shape menu over here, and now we have pattern fill. So I'm going to select this one with the diagonal wide stripes because the default fill in PowerPoint is blue. It's using blue for the foreground, but I'm going to change the foreground to red. The background is already white, so I can leave that. Now, I don't remember if I got rid of the outline on the straw. No, it's showing a solid line outline, so we'll change that to no line. Now we need to make it narrower, but before we do that, when I make it really narrow, it's going to get rid of this little uh, circle here that lets us rotate. So I want to rotate it first, and then I'll shrink it. So let's see if we can get it rotated just about the right angle to line up with the glass. That looks pretty good. Now we can make it narrower. And let's have it sticking up a little farther. 
but we also need to put it behind the root beer. And to do that, I'm going to right click on it and send to back. And there we go, we have our root beer float. So let me move on to our second option where I think vanilla is the best choice of ice cream, and that's on an apple pie. Now I made this apple pie and it's not the best, I have to say. So you might wanna try creating your own or we can also bring one in that's already made. So I'm gonna copy the plate and slide it over here. And let me go get another better apple pie than the one I created. It's pretty sad looking, isn't it? Bear with me a second while I drill out to the right folder here. There's our apple pie. Way too big. That's a much better looking apple pie than mine. But I have to say, I don't like those big black streaks in the ice cream. So I'm gonna cover up their ice cream with my ice cream. Now, you'll probably agree that just putting a perfectly round circle on top of there isn't going to look very interesting either. So I'm going to show you something else that we can do with the ice cream. First, I'm going to make it a little smaller. And then I'm going to add another shape to the bottom to make it look sort of like it's melting a little bit around the bottom. And to do that, I'm going to use a free form and we'll start at the edge here and we're going to draw oops and then we'll come all the way across till we match up with the other one and as soon as you get it back to the starting point it will fill it in of course we don't want it to be blue so we're going to use the eyedropper to select the vanilla ice cream color and then we want to right click and get rid of the outline should probably get rid of the outline on this one as well and then we can put it back after we merge them. So now we have two shapes. The ball is selected right now. And then if I hold the control key and click on the other one, we have two shapes selected. I'm going to click on the format menu and come over here to merge shapes. And we're going to select union. And now we have one shape that's combined those two. Now we can put a little bit of a border around it if we want. So let's uh, maybe use like that. It's probably a little too dark, but you get the idea. And let me make it a little bit smaller. Let's see how this works. Oops, we need to bring that to the front, don't we? Right click, bring to front. It's probably still a little too big. And there we have our vanilla ice cream on top of the apple pie. Maybe what I should do is outline that in black so it will match the way they had their ice cream outlined. That'll look better than the brown. There we go. Apple pie a la mode. All right, one more to show you. 
and this one is an ice cream sundae with hot fudge that doesn't look too great, but we'll see if I can draw a better one this time. Let me move that out of the way, and I'll show you first how I created the cup. We're going to start with that same shape we had before, but this time we're going to make it wide instead of narrow. We're still... Light has been detected near your location. Oops. I guess the storm is on its way. Um, let's see if I can uh, finish this quick. Um, again, we need to flip it vertically. And I'm going to use the pattern fill again. Choose a nice light green and like a checkerboard design. I think I used that one before. And we want to get rid of our outline. You know, maybe we'll use the outline, but just make it green and very thin. Oops, wrong way. Okay. And then if we want to add this little lip, we can do that just creating another shape and adding it on the top. I think I'm going to skip that because we're running a little short on time here. Now, we don't, we could do it with just the circle like this. But what I did for the other one actually that made it more interesting is I took the ice cream that I created for the previous page, this one with the melty bottom, I copied that back to this page. And let's get that uh, black outline off of it. We will uh, use that and then just go a little bit darker with the outline like that now what I did with it before is I made it a little bigger and I flipped it over vertically maybe we'll do it not quite vertical like this and of course, that has to go behind the cup. All right. And then we're going to use the free form again to put our hot fudge sauce on there. And I'm just clicking every once in a while and then dragging it around. And then we'll come back to here. Lightning has been detected near your location. And then we'll change our fill to a nice dark brown. We'll get rid of the outline. And there we have our hot fudge sundae. So I have just a couple slides to wrap up with here, and then we will close down just in time for the storm to hit, it looks like. <laughs> so I have a bundle of free graphics for you to download if you want. 
including some of the ones that I created, but some of these are public domain graphics that are free to use with other designs, like the apple pie I included. And you can get those by going to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash ice cream graphics. You don't need to capitalize it. I just did that to make it easier for you to see the words ice cream graphics. These are going to be a lot of different kinds of ice cream, and they're great for social media covers, like I did this one recently for mine with the popsicles. I did not include that, though. Or you can use them to create quote or tip graphics, like the one over on the right there. You can use them for infographics or for uh, really a lot of different designs. Uh, infographics, though, are a great way to use flat graphics because photos really don't work so well for infographics. Anyway, that is our show for today, celebrating Vanilla Ice Cream Day with mint chocolate chip in the background. <laughs> and I'm Susan Joy Schlieff for Creative Marketing TV. Again, help yourself to the free graphics go to bit.ly forward slash ice cream graphics and that link is in the description underneath the video recording from the hangout as well as on the google plus page and if you have any comments or questions please leave them for me underneath wherever you're watching the recording thanks see you next time